Begin by connecting the USB thumb drive to your PC. Using Windows Explorer, right click on the USB thumb drive device and choose Format. Make sure the file system is set to FAT32 and click Start. Click OK to format the thumb drive. Back at your account page at presonus.com, click on Download Latest Firmware. By default, the zip file should be in the Downloads folder of your hard drive. Open a second Explorer window and make sure it's set to the root directory of the thumb drive. In the Downloads folder, right-click on the zip file and extract all. This will create a new folder with the same name of the zip file containing five update files. Select them all and drag them directly to the USB thumb drive. These five files need to be copied directly into the USB thumb drive and not into a folder on the thumb drive. At your Studio Live AI mixer, hit the System button. Next, we want to navigate to page 9. Use the page down soft button on the lower left to do so. On this page, you will see the current firmware version number of your mixer displayed. If the Wi-Fi dongle is connected to the mixer, remove it. Take the USB thumb drive that we copied all the update files to the root directory onto and insert it into the USB port. You will need to count to 5. For example, 1 Louisiana, 2 Louisiana, 3 Louisiana, 4 Louisiana, and 5 Louisiana. This will provide enough time for the mixer to see the thumb drive. Push the recall soft button on the lower right to check for the firmware update. At this point, do not power off the mixer. This step will usually take 20 to 30 seconds. Please be patient. When the firmware update complete message appears on the screen, it's time to pull the thumb drive out, power off the mixer, insert the Wi-Fi dongle back in, and then power the mixer back on. The mixer is now loading the new firmware. Again, please do not power off your mixer as it's updating the control surface firmware. The LCD screen will now go dark for a while. Do not be alarmed. This is to be expected. The display will come back online. At this point, hit the system button. Go back to page 9 again using the page down soft button on the lower left. Now you can double check the new firmware version number that's been loaded into your mixer.